Let's look at asset under construction in more detail. Asset under construction, as you know, as we discussed earlier, it is to produce or construct an asset. So when you are doing asset under construction, there will be two phases and both of them have to be shown separately in the balance sheet. First is the asset under construction phase, just like its meaning. It means you are actually constructing the asset, so it's still not complete yet. That is called the asset under construction phase. So here there will be no depreciation posted. Then once the asset is complete, it becomes a full fixed asset. Then it's called the useful life phase. Then it's like a normal fixed asset. This way then depreciation will get posted over here. So transferring from the first to the second, that is from asset under construction phase to a fully complete asset phase is called as capitalization of the asset under construction. Let's look at creating an asset under construction. So our scenario is we are going to build our own asset. For example, it's going to be a lamp post. So we will need to create an asset under construction first. And then after that, we'll acquire the materials to create that asset. And then finally, we'll capitalize that asset. So first, let's create that asset under construction. The short transaction code to create any asset is AS01. You should be familiar with this by now. Let's type that in. Then choose your asset class. So you need to select your asset under construction asset class for your company code Z123. So I'm just going to select the asset class now. It's going to type in my company code Z123. And I'm going to choose this asset class 4000 asset under construction. Company code Z123. Okay. Now press enter in your keyboard or you can even click on master data, whatever is convenient for you. Now here you can give the information over here. So I'm going to call it lamp post at maybe I'll just say Berry Street. Something like this. So many information. You can even put the suburb also. Whatever information you want to put, you can just put or you can even just call it lamp post. So we copy this over here. Time dependent, I'm going to put a cost center, which cost center is going to be used under depreciation areas. Remember, for asset under construction, there is no depreciation value should be calculated because it still not has become an asset yet. So by default, the four zeros is automatically coming. If it didn't come, you must enter this depreciation key. That is four zeros. Save the data. And system will give you an asset number. Once it's saved, there it is, asset 4001. So note down this asset number. Whatever number you get in your system, note down that. Because now next step is we are going to post some acquisitions for that asset. Now I'm going to post some acquisitions for that asset. First, I'm going to buy a lamp from a vendor. Then next thing, I'm going to buy a, a post, a pole actually, a pole from another vendor. So let me do the asset acquisition transaction. It's F-90. We have seen this transaction before under the asset acquisitions presentation. So let's put a document date. Maybe I'll put a further date up like 0107-2015. 01.07.2015. Whenever the vendor has sent the invoice, you can put those dates. Let's say lamp vendor ID over here. Let me just select a vendor. And select a vendor and then key in the vendor ID and proceed with the transaction. I'm just going to call it um, from RST company. I'm going to buy the lamp from them. Press OK to continue. This is just they're just saying that the system is adjusting period two in line with the posting date. Press OK to continue. Press enter in your keyboard and it will continue to the next screen. So here you can specify the price of the lamp. So I'll probably say about hundred dollars over here. You can just say uh, AUC scenario. Whatever information you can type in over text over here. Next, I'm going to give in the asset information. Now you know the asset debit posting key is 70. That's it. 
And here you need to specify the asset number. So my lamp asset, the asset under construction asset number was 